Isaiah 45, beginning with the 14th verse. The Lord says to Israel, The wealth of Egypt and Ethiopia will be yours, and the tall men of Seba will be your slaves. They will follow you in chains. They will bow down to you and confess, God is with you. He alone is God. The God of Israel who saves his people is a God who conceals himself. Those who make idols will all be ashamed. All of them will be disgraced. But Israel is saved by the Lord, and her victory lasts forever. Her people will never be disgraced. The Lord created the heavens. He is the one who is God. He formed and made the earth. He made it firm and lasting. He did not make it a desolate waste but a place for people to live. It is he who says, I am the Lord, and there is no other God. I have not spoken in secret or kept my purpose hidden. I did not require the people of Israel to look for me in a desolate waste. I am the Lord, and I speak the truth. I make known what is right. The Lord says, Come together, people, of the nations, all who survived the fall of the empire. Present yourselves for the trial. The people who parade with their idols of wood and pray to gods that cannot save them, those people know nothing at all. Come and present your case in court. Let the defendants consult one another. Who predicted long ago what would happen? Was it not I, the Lord? The God who saves his people? There is no other God. Turn to me now and be saved, people all over the world. I am the only God there is. My promise is true, and it will not be changed. I solemnly promise by all that I am, everyone will come and kneel before me and vow to be loyal to me. They will say that only through me are victory and strength to be found. But all who hate me will suffer disgrace. I, the Lord, will rescue all the descendants of Jacob, and they will give me praise. Ending with the 25th verse.